Hello everyone. Good evening. Good morning. Wherever you are, and uh, welcome to the Northern California channel, where gardening is made easy. So today we'll discuss about uh, what do you do with the eggshells, right? Uh, a lot of us eat eggs, and uh, the eggshells, you know, instead of throwing it out, uh, I'm going to suggest you some tips and uh, you know how you to how you can use it in the garden or your compost. So these are the eggshells you see here. Uh, so those are. Um, Eggshells. So once the eggshells are done, uh, so what you do is uh, it's better to uh, uh, put it, uh, you know, in boiling water, and uh, so basically, you know, you can get rid of all the bacteria, and just take it to boiling temperature. Just put all the eggshells inside uh, inside the water and uh, boil it to 100 degree centigrade. And uh, once it gets boiled, um, so what you do is you dry the eggshells, and uh, you basically um, Put it on the sun to kind of dry it up, right? So once you dry it up, what happens is, you know, any bacteria in the soil in the eggshell will basically die. Okay. So the reason for uh, you know uh, uh, just boiling the eggshells is that uh, you know you want to get rid of the bacteria. So what happens is um, uh, sometimes you know there are instances where they have found salmonella uh, in the plants actually uh, the bacteria. Uh, so to avoid that, you have to boil it. So, so what I did was I took this uh, eggshells and then I kind of crushed it into fine powder. Right, as you see, as a fine powder, actually, it's kind of crushed it. So you can either use a blender or you can try to hand crush it, and then hand crush usually uh, uh, makes a little bit bigger pieces. So, so this way, when you crush it together, uh, well, so this will de easily uh, disintegrate it, disintegrate inside the soil. So that's the reason, you know, we ask you to. Uh, you know, um, make it into fine and ground, ground it uh, before you add it to the soil so that it will decompose faster. Right. So now uh, we have made a fine ground um, after boiling it and uh, drying it and then uh, grinding it. So now what you're going to do is uh, before adding to the soil, right, I wanted to explain few things. So um, the, the eggshells actually has a pH level of uh, 4.9. Uh, so what happens is, you know, when you add to the soil, it will increase the alkalinity of the soil. So it's very important to understand. So when it increases the alkalinity of the soil, so the pH will increase. It will cause the pH to increase uh, slightly. Um, so what you have to be very careful about, uh, what is the acidity requirement of the soil, right? So if the soil really likes uh, the pH level of, uh, you know, less than 7, you know, if it requires like 4 or 5, uh, I would suggest uh, not adding it, uh, but if the the soil um, is like uh, really uh, tolerates the the pH level uh, even above seven or six or seven, then you can go ahead and add it, and that's important to consider. So it does provide benefits um, uh, to the plants. So basically, what it does is uh, it will uh, uh, you know improve the the cell strength of the plants, and it uh, feeds you know the calcium uh, nutrients to the plants. So, uh, for example, um, okay, so this is a tomato plant, uh, as you see here. So, tomato plants, uh, it loves calcium and uh, calcium specifically, uh, it prevents the blossom end rot in the fruits. So, you can go ahead and add uh, calcium uh, for tomato plants. And, um, you know, please do avoid adding it for, uh, for example, blueberry. Uh, blueberry uh, likes uh, uh, some of the... the soil uh, acidity uh, you know it likes the ph level of in you know, a four or three uh, so suggest not adding it and check the ph level actually if the ph level is uh, way below then you can add it a bit but uh, it's better to check you know what kind of ph level your plants need so the other thing i would suggest is uh, one more thing they say about uh, uh, eggshells is uh, it does prevent the snails and slugs and i'm not sure you know uh, there is no scientific evidence on it uh, i don't know how far it uh, prevents it uh, the other thing you could do is, you know, you can put it inside uh, your compost bin and this is one of the best way to do it. Uh, once you put it in the compost bin, if you grind it nicely, it will disintegrate uh, within the compost bin easily, right? So, uh, this is the right way to kind of take it and add it in that. So, I'm going to take this and then uh, the entire uh, 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 ground shell and I'm going to add it in my compost bin. Let's go. Right, so here is my compost bin. Uh, it's been uh, It's been there for some time. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, eggshells and then I'm going to dump it and I'll show you how it does uh, in a uh, couple of weeks.
There you go. So I just put every uh, eggshell inside the compost bin and I'm expecting to get good compost uh, in, in about a month or so. Alright folks, I just dumped into my compost bin and uh, I'm just going to let it uh, cook for some time and uh, after that I can uh, take care of the compost and then add it to my garden. Um, so hopefully uh, I learned something on how to process the eggshell today. Uh, if you like the, uh, you know, if it was useful for you, please do click like and uh, subscribe to my channel so that you get a notification uh, when I post uh, more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.